It's no secret that the stock market has taken a hit so far in 2022. The S&P 500, it's dropped close to 15%, and the NASDAQ, it's down roughly 25%. And this is after these indices have moved a little higher over the past week. But I'm guessing it's just a dead cat bounce. Negative pressures, they continue to build, and the probability of recession, it continues to climb. Either way, this downturn, it's already crushed these five tech stocks. Meta Platforms is down 49%. Alibaba is down 70%. PayPal, it's down 72%. Netflix is down 73%. And last but not least, Asana is down 84%. There are lots of stocks that have dropped just as far, but just because they're down, it doesn't necessarily make them good investments. Some are sold for really good reasons, and might have a lot further to fall. But with these five stocks, they've all caught my attention as a value investor. I've already picked up some shares of Alibaba and Meta Platforms. They're some of my largest positions today, and I'm continuing to hold those for the long haul. Although now, I am considering PayPal, Netflix, and Asana. I like each of them for slightly different reasons, and if they drop further, I might be adding some of them to my portfolio. So let's take a closer look at each one of these and why I like them. And if you find my research useful, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below because that helps out my small YouTube channel. All right, getting right to it. PayPal, it continues to grow at a solid rate. Its sales are up close to 20% each of the past few years. This year, it looks like it is gonna slow down, but the company is gonna continue to grow. Not only that, but profits have climbed over this time frame as well. And the company's balance sheet, it's pretty solid. Cash and cash equivalents have dropped, but it still stands at close to $5 billion today. This gives some good financial flexibility. And on top of that, PayPal has been buying back its own shares. In the first quarter of 2022, it repurchased roughly 11 million shares for about $1.5 billion. And that's just one quarter. So if the company continues to falter, PayPal can easily stop buybacks and reduce spending elsewhere to weather the storm. And similar to other big tech companies, we're already seeing PayPal lay off some employees. With the recent economic pressure, investors have beaten down PayPal stock. This was after a huge run up in tech stocks. So a pullback, it was inevitable. But with its share price tanking, its valuation metrics are looking at least a little more enticing. If PayPal keeps dropping, there's a good chance that I buy in, and if that happens, I'll let you know here on my YouTube channel with a little more detail as to why I buy. For the next oversold stock, investors have really beaten down Netflix shares. I'll explain why briefly, but first, let's go ahead and take a quick look at how it's grown so far. So here are sales over the past five years. Growth is slowing and it's expected to be lower this year. With the potential recession taking hold, consumers are really cutting back on their spending. After paying more for gas, food, and other items, there's not as much left over for nice to have subscriptions. There are lots of streaming platforms to choose from today. The competition in the industry is fierce and growth is slowing. Nonetheless, Netflix has a leading position and it has some levers that it can pull to increase its user base along with sales, such as limiting account sharing and creating a lower cost ad supported service although the company has openly been opposed to that in the past. Netflix also continues to expand overseas as well. But of course, the recent macroeconomic situation, it's really spooked investors. Netflix shares were way overpriced. I wouldn't have touched them with a 10-foot pole a year ago. But with the big drop, we've seen valuation multiples come back down to earth. Netflix is looking like a much better deal today, and if it drops further, I'm much more likely to invest. Overall, the company's management runs a tight ship, and the company also has a very solid balance sheet. Now, for the last oversold stock, it's still unprofitable, or the company behind the stock. So this makes Asana a little bit different than the others on this list. But there's one huge reason I like it. And before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sales growth. Asana is a growth company, and its fiscal year is different than calendar year. That's important to note. So it's already reported full year 2022, with sales up close to 67% year over year. That's huge, and it is expected to slow some, but still remain high. So with this past huge growth, investors had really bid up the share price. 
But since it's crashed and its price to sales ratio, it's looking a little more reasonable today relative to its growth going forward. Asana, the company, is actually gaining market share and we've seen some other successful companies take a similar path in different industries. In my full-time gig, I also use Asana's products. So similar to PayPal and Netflix's services, I have a little bit of a hands-on look at the value that the company provides. There's a lot to like about Asana, but as far as the share price, I think there's still some more room for it to fall. So I'm staying on the sidelines and I'm gonna take a much closer look if it drops further. But now for that huge reason that it initially caught my attention, insider buying. The founder and CEO, Dustin Moskovitz, has been buying a massive number of shares. He's outright bought more than $1 billion worth of Asana stock over the past year. And that buying has happened at higher share prices. As a result, investors today, new investors, can get a much better deal. Also, unlike insider selling, buying activity can be a more useful indicator. When it comes to selling, there can be lots of reasons that insiders need the cash. Maybe they wanna buy a second home, a third home, or pay for other things in life. But on the other hand, there's only really one big reason that insiders buy shares. They think that they're gonna trade higher in the future. And who knows more about their business than the founders and the current management? Dustin Moskovitz is also a co-founder of Facebook and has solid experience building successful companies. So the recent buying activity, it's great to see. And with the share price, hopefully there's even better entry points in the months ahead. Now, are Asana and these other oversold stocks falling knives? Am I gonna get cut trying to catch them? With Alibaba, I'm already seeing a lot of red in my portfolio. It doesn't feel good. But on the other hand, I'm up on meta platforms. Now, if I buy into PayPal, Netflix, or Asana, I'm not foolish enough to think that I'm gonna be buying right at the bottom. Although, hopefully I'm close. And I'm a long-term investor and can wait out more short-term volatility. I'll only buy if I think that they're trading or shares are trading at reasonable valuations today based on the underlying business and its future prospects. And if share prices drop further without the underlying businesses or the fundamentals drastically changing, the margin of safety really improves. I'll let you know in future videos when, where, and why I'm investing. So I hope you'll stick around. And once again, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below uh, because that helps out my small YouTube channel. And feel free to drop any comments or questions down below.